Hi, Mr. X with glossary term period. It's either the time or the distance for a repetitive function like a wavelength of a sinusoid. Electromagnetic radiation comes to mind. It's either the time or the distance for it to complete a full cycle. Now, it's not that I don't know whether it's time or distance. It depends who you talk to. Some people define a period in terms of wavelength. Other people define a period in terms of time. And when we're talking about electromagnetic radiation, well, this is fine because C is a constant. We treat it as a constant, even though the speed of light does slow down a little bit in various media. The speed of light in a vacuum is a constant. We call it C. So C equals F lambda. C, the speed of light, equals the frequency times the wavelength. This funny-looking symbol is called a lambda, Greek letter lambda. We use it for wavelength. Here's a graphic from cnx.org. See the period? And it's on the time axis. But there's also a length of the wave. So here's our period from one high point to another point. Actually, from any same spot on the wavelength. We could pick this spot as we're coming up and this spot, same spot on the wave. That's going to have the same distance as our period down here. We could pick the low spot or just the, to the right of it and the same spot on the next waveform. Sure, that wavelength or the period will be constant if we have a constant oscillation here. Here's the key that I'm trying to convey. Some people will tell you that the period is a length of time, and they are absolutely right. They're 100% right. The period is a length of time. Ain't no doubt about it. Other people will tell you that the period is the distance for a wavelength. They are also right. At Mr. X, the glossary terms are free.